What's going on, y'all? We got Trevor Penny. Uh, Washington Football has him ranked as the number four offensive tackle in the draft. Uh, said Penny impressed advanced scouts and earned a favorable projection entering the 21 season. He has good speed and athleticism to go along with his massive size. Penning has caught the attention of scouts and received high grades by some advanced scouts. He could be a riser during the 2022 NFL draft process. Penning is a big tackle who has surprising quickness and athleticism to go along with excellent size and length. In both phases, Penning is a tough blocker, has upside to grow at the pro level. Penning has a good performance at the senior bowl, had a good performance at the senior bowl, and showed a real mean streak to finish off defensive lineman. Okay, um... Speed athleticism, so I'm assuming, you know, that might benefit them in a run game. Um, maybe, you know, quick to get out there in a pass. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what the uh, what the highlight tape shows. Um, he's 6'7", 325, running a 4.89. So, hey, stay under, underneath that five seconds, you're doing good. This is the first time I've seen this size and demeanor and then play style for NFL comparison. Because a lot of the running back, a lot of players, they get this completely wrong. I don't know who John Ryan is. I heard of Riley Reef, but I think this is actually good. You compare somebody for a size and then their play style. So, so I like this. I like the, uh, the fact that they uh, got really specific there. Three year starter at left tackle with outstanding measurables on a low cut, well built frame. He plays with the level of disgust for anyone lining up against him, seeks out violent block finishes when possible. Athletic enough to move to block on the move and has the potential to shine as a powerful drive blocker size length and know-how have been more than enough to ward off fcs pass rushers but he needs to operate with better inside out positioning with it while developing much firmer edges to succeed against a more talented group of quarterback hunters so okay so like i said it sounds like his run blocking might be good but pass pass blocking might be you know what it is uh Penning has both traits and toughnesses and toughness, but the tape can leave you wanting just a little more from him. He should be an instant starter at left or right tackle, but the jump in competition will take a time to navigate the jumping competition. Are you saying as far as other tackles? Um strengths, gritty, throwback field, demeanor, big broad proportional frame with a desired center to gravity added nearly 100 pounds since entering college thanks to maniacal weight work good bend for a big guy compact efficient movements as a run blocker arcs up to linebacker with good balance and control adequate quickness and athleticism as a pull blocker size strength and bend equal bulldozing potential plays with a strong desire to snatch the will of opponents gains adequate set depth as a tackle punches with sharp inside stab to the sternum will be hard to get around once he pieces it together okay okay weaknesses will have to learn to control and harness his on field fire power zone is a little more narrow than expected needs to strengthen both inside and outside hands below average move adjustments due to size can be tardy getting to his second block on combos opens inside gate with early turn on pass sets could struggle to maintain outside hand at the top of the rush. Inconsistent recognition and snap offs against twist needs to clasp and snuff out room to counter for rusher. Mm, not really a uh, offensive lineman uh, aficionado or whatever the word may be, but we're going to check him out. You know, I don't really pay attention to details, essentially, when it comes to offensive linemen. I try to. I try to do my best, but, you know. It's not a position that I like would choose to study that deeply or watch that deeply. You know, uh, sorry, offensive line. You know, what I'm saying? sorry guys, but you know, it's just just me. But I'm gonna try to get what I can out of this. And like I said, just from the way they describe him, seems like he's best suited uh, as a run blocker. But I could be wrong. Forcing you and I to do it through the Sheesh. All right. A little more time. Just wipe them out. out to his left. Now he's going to run for it. Pick up what he does. Either a DB or a, a linebacker rushing against him right there. Now this looks like the DN. Okay. Mm, okay. I see him. Lane Tucker comes through. McElvain comes under center again. Trying to make it a two score. Okay. Just wash them out. Get in. Took 
It took him several plays inside the red zone. Make Day's life miserable. First out and 10 from the 41. Day. Sheesh, I see him. He over there getting busy. Wow. Okay. And he, he's past blocking highlights, so I see him. Hands it off to Dom Williams. Spins All right. To the left side, but cannot get away from Jakari Patterson. Bombi looking to throw here on first down. Throws over the middle, looking for Isaiah Weston, and he can't hold on to it. They made a comment about his hands, but it actually seemed like he got pretty good hands. I mean, what well, these highlights, though, so I can't really. Jeez. Can't really uh, put too much into a highlight tape, you know. Pretty quick. A big play to start the third. It seems to be working so far. Second and 16. To the outside, here's Vance McShane. Four and a half yards per carry is the average for Hoosman. He gets the carry here on. Mm, that was nice. And picks up three more out to the 42-yard line. Shaw stays in the backfield. Gets the One thing I like, he doesn't stop. You know, even the player is past him. You know, just high motor. Just keep going. Even if the uh the offensive player, you know, out of sight at that point, he's still he's still he's still back there trying to get work in. You know, he's not being too unnecessary, but he's making sure the guys just completely wiped out the play. Good block. That was a good spin. Good recovery as well. All right. Did get it back. Clayton Bush is bleeding that he came up with it for SIU. Three minutes left in this second quarter. Vance McShane, he needs to get to the 47. He's going to lose yards from the Northern Iowa 36. Yeah. Day dumps this one short. That one's complete. To Hampton out of bounds at the 27 gets nine, it'll be fourth down. Theo Day hands it off. Bradrick Shaw straight ahead across the 20 yard line. Second down and two. Play action. Day over the middle. Got a man. I feel like his hands is pretty solid. He is just well. He could probably be a little quicker, like when he kicks back. If that's the if that's the if that's the phrase, you know, like when the uh, since the ball snap is like a kickback, probably be a little quicker there. But that's good hands, and I'd assume I wouldn't expect him to be the quickest. You know, with his size, it's a big dude. But okay, I like that chip. Wow, they just knocked him out the play completely. He's at a smaller school though, so I know that he's not just getting the uh, best competition consistently. So it's gonna be curious to see how he plays on the next level. Now that's no discredit because a lot of players, you know, they they play, they're not playing at, in the SEC or you know the uh, top tier. I didn't see that last play, but they're not playing in the top tier of college and they're still coming to the NFL and would make some noise. You know, players you gotta adjust a lot of the times, but. Uh, we'll see. You know, they have them ranked pretty high, so um, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything negative to say from this video. Um, you know, looks like they said he'll be a starter. Looks like he could be a starter. So uh, we're gonna end it there. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what some good fits for him. Uh, what, what team can use him? And uh, we're in it there. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.